and and address it because I will say this emphatically, and this is absolutely just like farmer A and farmer B. It's simple. If I'm running at 10 miles an hour, and there's somebody ahead of me running at 10 miles an hour, I can guarantee you I will never catch them. Now I'm not asking you to slow the guy down running at 10. Just help me run faster. Lyndon Baines Johnson. Right. And, and so when I look at a society that says, as Sandra Day O'Connor said when they had the Adirondack case on the question of should you have set aside for an African American who won a contract in Denver to, to install guardrails, say there is no compelling federal interest to do that. Now I will make a case at some point if you take the growth of the Hispanic population and you take the growth of the African American population, there will be a compelling federal interest to answer the question, how long can we as a nation exist when minority unemployment is double that of white unemployment? It's been that way throughout my entire life. I, and, and I have been extremely successful in business. But I recognize that the problem inherent in black America is not lack of commitment to care for ourselves, not work ethic, not integrity, not transparency, not a desire to live in a two-parent uh, two household. None of that is endemic and in, built in our DNA. But I will tell you what is built in the DNA of America is a history, chronic history, of institutionalized discrimination and racism. And 